a brand new playroom as well as a quiet space and an administration office. The renovation angels have been hard at work here at Halton Woman's Place to bring the residents who currently are here a little bit more comfort during their stay. Uh, my name is Sean Caffrey. I own Renovation Angels and we offer free renovations to nonprofit NGO shelters. So women's shelters, homeless, at-risk youth, food banks. Uh, our target this year is to do about a quarter million dollars in free work for the shelters. And this was a project we just finished. This new improvement cost around $40,000 and it was all through donations, including from Catherine Tonin, an interior designer who gave over 100 free hours to make the space cozy and of course livable. Uh, Sean approached me uh, with his company and his thoughts and his idea for the shelter and uh, after our first site visit and meeting Diane we really had a greater vision of what they needed here so we kind of had uh, the chance to see that they really needed something comfortable, livable, functional, clean, bright and inviting. Um, so I really wanted to bring some ideas and creativity to the table to, to help um, to bring that to life. The Halton Women's Place, as well as many other shelters and organizations, are funded through donations or, of course, fundraisers themselves. So this gives them the opportunity to get those renovations that otherwise they wouldn't have the budget for. So what happens is that it remains the way that it is. We do our best to keep it clean and um, keep it painted, but beyond that, like that's all there is in the budget for upkeep of a, of a building like this. So this is very, very special. This wall... Um, is all Sean and Catherine. We're just so fortunate because his vision is that Christmas morning there'll be a tree in the corner, the fireplace will be on, and moms and kids will be around the tree, which is fantastic because we haven't had that in the past. We've certainly had trees, but nothing like this. The Renovation Angels is a new company, but Sean has been doing this type of charity work for over a decade. Uh, we've reached out to a lot of shelters and uh, people in need that can't afford a renovation. Some people will have a wish list and that's one thing, but some people actually need help. Um, you can find the seniors who showers caved in and they just don't have money to replace the tile. Um, so we'll, we'll step in and help them there. Uh, as a second sidebar to Renovation Angels, we're hoping to connect the at-risk youth with our database of, of trades and suppliers and try to get them apprenticeships so it will work uh, in the favor of both ways. So get the renovation and if our trades people are hiring we ask them to look at some of the at-risk youths that we're doing work for. If you're looking for more information or for a donation or to even donate you can go to their Facebook page The Renovation Angels or you can email the renovationangels at gmail.com. For Halton Insider, I'm Kristen Demony.